Horses are on the track and ready to post. The 11th race, Ohio Breeders' Championship, four and five year old senior pays for $19,600, sponsored by Cheap Chase Village Luxury Affordable Apartments. These are the horses. Number one, Speedy, AJ. The Curie Patel of Springfield, Ohio, Dan Purdue trains. Luke Ulat drives from post seven, the one, Speedy, AJ. 1A of Sun Trick, Shakiri Patel of Springfield, Ohio, Dan Purdue Trains. Daniel Dubé drives from post 10, the 1A Sun Trick. Number two, Make Me Proud, Ty. Ed Mullen, XM Amherst, Ohio, Dan Purdue Trains. Ron Pierce from post one, the two, Make Me Proud, Ty. Number three, Willie, earn a lot. Timothy Humry, and Eric Ledford of Ohio and Illinois. Eric Ledford from post two, the three, Willie, earn a lot. Number four, Indian Fever. Outback Stables of Ottawa, Ohio. Dave Hawk for post three, the four, Indian Fever. Number five, Mr. Peabody. J. Dean of Springfield and P. A. Dean, South Charleston, Ohio. Brett Miller from post four, the five, Mr. Peabody. Number six is come on, Sloopy, hang on. Summers and Churches of Ohio, the owners. Jamie Dunlap derives from post five, the six. Come on, Sloopy, hang on. The seven, Brutal Force. Gerald Goldberg of Pepperbike, Ohio. John Campbell from post six, the seven, Brutal Force. Number eight, Skyway Falcon. Richard Brooks of Brookville, Ohio. David Miller from Post 8, the 8 Skyway Falcon. And number 9, Victor Bloom. Bob Colley of Asheville, Ohio. Curtis Prize of Marion, Ohio. George Brennan from Post 9, the 9, Victor Bloom. Oh. Moving up and moving in. For the 11th Ohio Breeders' Championship, four and five-year-old senior pace. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Dropping, pacing, come on, Sloopy, hang on, goes right out for the early lead. Make me proud, tie on the inside, racing third, Indian Fever, as he rakes into the turn from the second tier, Victor Bloom gets away, fourth, off stride. Make me proud, tie, down the backside, come on, Sloopy, hang on, has the lead, Indian Fever, second, Victor Bloom racing third on the outside, Mr. Peabody, fourth. Centric fifth, opening panel 27 and one. He into the turn, going to the three eighths mark on the inside. Speedy AJ racing six, seven on the outside. Brutal Force racing eight. Will he earn another lot on the outside? Skyway Falcon and trailing the field. Following the break, make me proud, Ty. He entered the lane first time. Dave Hawk has moved to the front with Indian Fever as they pass the tent of the first time. Up on the outside, Mr. Peabody second. Come on, Sloopy, hang on third. Halfway home, 57. Second quarter, 29 and four. With the cover on the outside, it's Sun Trick as they race over to the 5 8 mark. Racing on the inside, Speedy AJ racing up now. On the outside, starting to fade is Brutal Force. Down the backside, Indian Fever, the one to catch. Three wide, Sun Trip moves on the outside for Dan Dubay. Between horses, he had the turn, Mr. Peabody. Three quarters, 125 and two. 28 and two, third quarter. Three of them across the track. And on the outside, Sun Trick has taken the lead now from Indian Fever. Here comes Skyway Falcon on the outside. Eighth of a mile to go. Sun Trick with the lead. Indian Fever. Skyway Falcon closing on the outside. Sun Trick with the lead. Bottom of the second and third. Here they are. Skyway Falcon with second. Come on, Sloopy. Hangs on. Circle. 1A. Sun Trick. Security Patel of Springfield, Ohio. Dan Purdue Trains. Danielle Dubay Drives. 
Sun Trip, four-year-old style McCann's Magic Trick, a look to the sun. A winner in 155, three fifths. Final half, 58 and three. The final quarter, 30 and one fifth. Sun Trick and Daniel Dubay win the Ohio Breeders Championship four and five-year-old senior pace. Danielle Dubay is another guy who uh, was in the right place at the right time, racing on a regular basis at Yonkers and some at Freehold, was trying the Meadowlands on Yonkers Dark Nights, and then uh, some drivers had some problems and were not allowed to drive for a while uh, last year, so Dubay hopped in and started to get quite a few drives, and the rest, they say, is history. Yep, you're not kidding. It's really uh, had an unbelievable year thus far in the year 2000, and uh, still the great things ahead of him. And those French-Canadian drivers are known and five even, one eight six nine super for a buck, ten thousand four hundred fourteen dollars fifty circle. For more on the Senior Breeders Championship pace, here's Ellie. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm joined by another trainer today, and this is Dan Perdue. He sent out three in this uh, Ohio Championship uh, race, and you have to tell me now. You had three, and one had post one, one had post ten, and the other had post seven. Who did you think had the strongest shot in here? I liked Sun Trick. I thought he would do. And uh, make me proud, Ty, coming off the rail, I thought could be there, too. Uh, well, how about post position 10, though? That was tough. He's tough behind the gate. I thought that may be a problem. Well, a trailer position on a half-mile track without a passing lane, you're pretty much at the mercy of what happens up front. Uh, Daniel du Dubé did an excellent job getting him a second over trip. Yes, he did. He did a super job. And, and it, it is tough from the second tier on a half-mile track. And, and with a horse like that that's hard to hold behind the gate, it makes it even worse. Well, I talked to Joe Anderson a little bit earlier about the track surface. He said it was a little deep. Do you think the rain may have helped tighten it up some? I don't know. I think it made it a little sticky and a little slower, maybe. It was a little deep, but I think the deepness and the rain made it a little sticky. All right. Well, Dan, congratulations. Winning went Sun Trick, and we're going to go back to the booth, guys. Thanks, Ellie. Dave, last year we had the heavy rains. I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, and the track got very sticky here at Delaware. They didn't expect it to rain. 